the bell icon to turn on notifications. The next update that Microsoft have released for Teams is a small change to the lobby settings. Now, hopefully by now you are familiar with exactly what the lobby is, but if you need a refresher, when you start a meeting or when you join a meeting and you are the host, you have control as to who is essentially held in the lobby prior to the meeting commencing. So you might choose in your settings to hold certain groups of people in the lobby until the meeting begins. But now Microsoft have added a new lobby setting that lets people invited to the meeting to bypass the meeting lobby. So basically anyone who receives an invitation and that includes a forwarded invite will join the meeting directly. They won't have to be held in that lobby. Now, it's worth noting that this doesn't include distribution lists. People must be invited individually. And another thing that's important to note, because you might be confused if you can't see this setting when we jump into a meeting, is that this isn't available for channel meetings. So in order to see this setting, it must be a meeting that's been started from the calendar. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So you can see that I have a project meeting scheduled. I'm the host. I'm going to join this meeting and I'm just going to mute my microphone and click on join now. So I am now in my meeting and in general, if I want to use a setting like this, I'll log in maybe 10 minutes before the meeting start time and I'll jump in here and I will change my settings. So if we click on the three dots for more actions and go into meeting options, this is the setting you need to change. So where it says who can bypass the lobby. What you'll notice is that in this drop down, we now have an additional menu item which we can choose. And that is this one here, people I invite. So if I set this option and then click on save. So what this means is that anybody that I've sent a direct invite to will completely bypass the lobby and come directly into the meeting. Now, as I mentioned there, that option will only be available if you start your meeting from your calendar. It's not available in channels. So just to make that abundantly clear, let me show you what I mean. If I jump back to Teams and let's go into the Q1 planning channel, for example, and I'm going to say meet now. And let me just mute my microphone and just join this meeting. So this meeting has essentially been created in the Q1 planning channel for Northwind traders. So now if I jump up to those three dots for more actions and go into meeting options, if I click the drop down underneath who can bypass the lobby, you'll see that I don't have that option that we had when we were joining from the calendar. OK, so that is the difference between the two. You don't have access when you're creating the meeting from the channel, but you do if it's from the calendar. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project and Photoshop, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.